Hello, all you guys and girls out there in the eBay reselling world. It is I, the Turkey Ford Wolfman, coming back at you. Coming back at you with what sold Wednesday morning. Yes, it's sprinkling the rain and 60 degrees outside. It's 68 in here. And overnight on our two eBay stores, there's my wife's store and here's mine. We sold four items totaling $116.60. But before we get into that, let me show you the stuff I got yesterday. Oh, look at it. It's like new. Yep. There you go. It's a one stringer. I don't know how to play. But my son can. I thought that was pretty cool, you know, for a couple of bucks. I hadn't looked it up. It says Tinker Tar. <laughs> they don't know how to spell get tar. I must have made that one. And here's the head of the video. It's listed on Wolfman's Goodies. Yes, look at it. The band is yellow. Didn't take time to clean it. Ain't nobody got time for that. The Flying Tigers, I don't know what that is. It's a visor hat. There's the preview hat. And I got a map, so I know it's Wednesday in North Carolina. Thanks, Woody. <laughs> I changed it up a little bit. I got Chris Easy Picking sticker over there. <clears throat> but uh, I got more stuff. Yeah, oh, we did sell a hat. It goes with a VHS. We accepted an offer of $50 for this blank VHS and this hat. Yeah, we'll get to that here in a minute. Stay tuned. <laughs> so I did mark it down. There's four hats we've sold so far. I make a little money every time I get to go out. Botanic Garden. Cheese, knife, and spreaders. Look at it. Why wouldn't you buy that? For a few bucks. It had a sold comp around 13 to 15 bucks. He's got a knife. It's not sharp, but he's got several of them. <laughs> you could use them as kitchen drawer handles. Yeah. Open up your cabinets. Apparently, somebody that like Wake Forest got their stuff donated to the Goodwill. Because they got that board game. And I got 10 brand new hats. Yeah, you know what I gave for them. Well, the cardboard's not in that one, but it is in most of them. So we'll list that. There'll be multiple quantity of 10. Yeah, I think I'm going to give them away, say, $6 a piece plus shipping. Uh, there were several card games. This is the only one that had sold comps for some decent money. You know? Got an animated plush. Makes me smile. Because you know what happens to it if it doesn't work. <laughs> I squeeze all the animals on the on the shelf until I find a box inside one. And then I'm like, yep, I'll give a dollar for that. Made in China. He's probably going to work though. I don't even see. Oh, there's hook and loop. There's how you get to the batteries. Yeah, I hope he works. <coughs> Hey, if I can't sell it, my teenage boys uh, play with it out in the yard. And it's tight, too. It says seven pounds. Got a barcode. Didn't even look that up. Two dollars, right? And stay with me. Opie's Candy Store, Mount Airy, Maybury, Main Street, Coffee Cup. Imagine that. What's that doing at the Salvation Army? And this. I'm not looking it up. 49 cent. I got a pair that I get to uh, lot up. Oh, that one's funny. Don't know who that is, but he matches the other cup. We'll just look them up later and lot them up. <coughs> Excuse me, maybe tonight. I'd rather be fishing. Oh, no, I didn't see that part. Myrtle Beach. <laughs> I'm going to have to put my finger over that. 
Oh, that's terrible. My cuticle looks terrible. Oh, it's on the back side. <laughs> Here's my favorite channels. We got Jake with Allstate. No. J Ride Flips. Check him out. You'll learn something. I mean, in every episode, you'll learn something. I'd rather be fishing Myrtle Beach. I don't know. The, the bass is on the wrong worm. Because it's out there on the hook. Okay. That one, what do you think, guys? Girls, <laughs> they may take that one down. Somebody that doesn't like me will flag it on my store. Wolfman's goodies. <laughs> Obscene coffee cup. Oh, it's got a barcode. I love it. $8.99 back in the day. So there's that. Oh, is there one more? I've sold these recently. Yep. Pilot Mountain Coffee. So how many of you guys and girls out there live near like some famous tourist attraction? Stone Mountain in Georgia. You know, Yellowstone. I've got Pilot Mountain in Mayberry. RFD. <laughs> What do y'all have? Comment down below and let me know. Oh, we get to put that in rolling cart B because it is listed. The visor hat is not. Oh, this is getting tight. We're going to have to switch boxes. <clears throat> I mean, we sell a hat or two a week, right? Sometimes three or four. So it kind of just, I'm putting six hats on eBay a week and selling five. <laughs> So the box gets a little tight after a while. All right. Now what do we do, boys and girls? Yes, in case you didn't see yesterday's video, my wife outsold me. And I mean, it feels like it's been six months. Fire this back up. I'm signed into my eBay account. I've sold two, totaling $82.66. <coughs> Mm hmm Charlotte, Carolina Panthers, two 2003 NFC Champions hat, BHS blank tape, Super Bowl 2004. Super Bowl may or may not be on that blank tape. And it's going to uh, somebody in California. So sorry, I can't pronounce your name. My apologies, but we sure do appreciate you. I'm going to send it. Uh, <clears throat> they selected Ground Advantage. $15. I'm going to try to send it priority mail in a 776 box. But uh, 50 bucks. I wanted, uh, I think I had $100 on it or 90 <laughs> Yeah. There's the hat, and there's the tape pre-played. may have a couple things on it, and it may not. I don't know, but I played it all the way through. So we'll ship that out. I used Dean, Rocky Top Picker's advice. Typically, when I ex receive an offer, I just accept it because I'm shipping out every morning, six days a week, and I want to add on. You know, and get that money rolling in for the payout. But he has taught me, let it set. Number one, when you receive an offer, it gets thrown back up on the top, supposedly, by the eBay algorithm. And other people will see it, and somebody will buy it at full price. And that makes sense. Number two, that person on the 23rd hour, or at the end of it, will buy it for full price. In this case, they offered me a lot more. They started out at $5, tape only, but anyway, <clears throat> so there you go. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. <laughs> that means, from where I'm from, that means put that in your database and use it to grow your business and make your job easier. It's not a drug reference. <clears throat> Backing up, we only sold four. That's better than zero. Small sales are better than none. What's this? I sold a remote control. 
No way. $7.90. I think I got it at the Amazon return. Being as I tested it. Nah, might have got it at Goodwill. My favorite one. In that direction. They still have all their remotes at a reasonable price, you know. Remote control fit for the Philips Blu-ray disc player. Bravo Delta Papa 5005. Yep. And it's going to Tracy in New York. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. I think I put that in a double bubble envelope. I just look it up on eBay, put the model number there, and have it locked to sold comps and sell one like this. Oh, it's so clean. It is. There. Got my wife's toothbrush. Shh. There. So now, um, this phone's signed in to my wife's account. It's the backup phone that I use to list stuff to help her out, you know, at night when I'm here for a few hours. So I can just show you right here. And you may be asking me, why don't I pull up an extra page and sign in to my account on eBay and another page have her account? I tried that in the beginning, and it kept locking me out of eBay. It didn't like it when you started navigating through one. Well, it was popped up, but that was years ago. It may work now. I don't know. I thought of that the other night. So right here, she sold a... EMT Emergency Medical Tech Beaded Ink Pen with a free black refill. Oh, will you look at that. She makes these. So hit her up on Melissa's Thrifty Barn. Pick out several ones. Send her the screenshots in a message and say, Will you group these up or can I buy these? And you give me a shipping discount? And she will hook you up. Or you can say, hey, build me one like this, this, and that. And she'll list it on eBay, and in the title, she'll put your name. Jake. And that way you can search it and find it and buy it before somebody else does. <clears throat> That's pretty cool. Going to Richard in Georgia. Georgia. The purple state. Back it up. Here we go. I get to go out again. Can you believe it? I'm so excited. Excuse me. I just got to ship these out real quick and play my guitar. Practice makes perfect. <laughs> Junior shorts ripped up. Distressed. Decree Juniors is the brand short jean booty shorts. Distressed floral lining. She got fourteen dollars for them plus shipping, and they are going to somebody. Northcott family in Florida. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Now you know to look out for those when you're at the bins or in the Goodwill yard sale. Oh, we get to ship out. For real? Good day to sleep, but we're going to be productive. We can sleep at night. Coffee, check. Three foot tall chair, check. Straightening up. Ninja chop, check. Okay, boys and girls. It is I, Chad, back with a dad joke on this beautiful Wednesday. I hope y'all find something cool. Oh, I, I found more. There's an electronic key, uh, typewriter that looks like a small suitcase, modern, and it's got sold comp $65. New in the box, $300. I mean, this is it's the size of a three-ring binder. The big one has a black handle, plastic. I forget the brand. Brother? Might be a brother. I got to put paper in it, clean it, and test it, and list it. $5. I got that. And I got 
60 to 70 new old stock vacuum cleaner bags whole tote and all for like 20 bucks yeah so they got you know three to five bags in each plastic pack price tag ten dollars fifteen dollars from back in the 80s and 90s i told them they gave me a deal and i appreciate it so much but i told them i was like it'll take me five years to sell these and believe it or not most of my vintage uh vacuum cleaner bags go over to london and britain and stuff where they still use those old boat anchors with the red fabric red and black you know bags zip up on them and stuff <laughs> and he's just laughing at me so <clears throat> that worked out good <clears throat> excuse me need coffee mm. i see check marks almost at the end what do we do when i finish a book I sign and date it and put it on eBay for 99 cents. I put Turkey Ford Wolfman and my name underneath it. A farmer in the field with his cows counted 196 of them. But when he rounded them up, he had 200. Yeah. You're welcome. How do you make time fly? You throw it out the window. They got a picture of a pocket watch going out of a window. Why do why do ghouls and ghosts like to go in elevators? Because they like to raise their spirits. Yeah. What do you call <clears throat> excuse me? What do you cut pizza with? Little scissors. <laughs> What's an alligator's favorite drink? Gatorade. That was a no-brainer. A man walks into a bar. He says, ouch. Where does the Italian gangster live? In the spaghetto. What's green and has wheels? Grass. I was lying about the wheels. I don't know why I approved and that joke and left it in there. <coughs> well, there's one about Pikachu. And I did not approve this, but let me throw it out there because I got the coffee cups. What does a Pikachu say when he's about to sneeze? P Pikachu! You see why I left it out? Oh, I see a LOL. <clears throat> what ship never sinks? Friendship, boys and girls. What is nine's favorite sport? Tennis. Alright. LOL. We're done. Are you from Tennessee? Because you're the only 10 I see. And you're welcome. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And share it with your friends and family. So they can laugh too. All right. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.